All right, you nine. Um, after you've watched that that video on labeling the sides of the triangle, we're just going to work through a, a few examples here before I uh, before you get off and going on with the activities for this lesson. So just remembering, start off with there's a quick quiz here. Today's number of the day is three hundred and thirty three. So go through, have a go doing these questions without your calculator. Um, and as always, the answers are at the very bottom of these lesson notes. All right. Um, trigonometry. Let's get rocking and rolling with trigonometry. So the word trigonometry comes from ancient Greece and the word trigon means a three angled shape and a three angled shape we know as a tri angle, right? Tri meaning three angles. So the word trigon is just an ancient Greek word for triangle. And the, the metry part, the trigonometry part, just stands for the measure, right? So that last part of the word stands for measure. So trigonometry is just dealing with the measures of triangles and all the measurements, so angles, sides, etc., that we deal with triangles. Um, which you can see how the previous lessons where we've done Pythagoras' theorem, that kind of ties in there. Pythagoras' theorem was the start and the lead into this idea of trigonometry. But before we can do trigonometry, we need to be able to label the sides of our triangle. And um, in my opinion, this is the most important part of trigonometry. If you can correctly label the sides of your triangle, you have done most of the hard work with trigonometry to start off with. Um, we really need to take our time to identify all the information that we've been given. Right, so for me, there are four key steps to when it comes to repeating over and over and over again when it comes to labeling the sides of our right angle triangle. And the first thing that we need to be able to do is well, we want to look for the right angle and we want to be able to label the hypotenuse. Right, the trigonometry that we're doing in year 9 and 10, it only deals with right angle tri triangles, much the same as Pythagoras. So if the triangle doesn't contain a right angle, we can't apply trigonometry to it. So we need to look for that right angle, and then we need to label the hypotenuse accordingly. After we've, we've identified that information, we need to look for the reference angle. When we're dealing with trigonometry, we're going to ask you to look at one of the other angles in the triangle, the right angle, and one other angle. And most of the time, we're going to label that either as some Greek letters like theta. We can label it using algebra like x degrees, or we can actually tell you the size of the angle. You know, the angle you're looking at is actually 27 degrees. So the reference angle, it will be identified in the question somehow, either by a Greek letter, or we will tell you in the wording of the question where to look. Uh, once we've done that, once we've identified our reference angle, we need to be able to label the other side of the reference angle. So the opposite side of our triangle, and we're gonna call that the opposite side. And then once we've done that, we've labeled a hypotenuse, we've labeled the opposite side, there must be only one side left over because it's a triangle. And that last remaining side, we call the adjacent side of a triangle. Right? And that word adjacent means it is just next to. So the adjacent side is next to the reference angle. So let's look at some ex work examples on that. All right, we've been asked to label the sides in the following triangle. So let's just take a bit of a zoom in here. So looking at question A here, the first thing that we need to be able to do is, well, there's our right angle. So if that's our right angle, all the way here, there's our hypotenuse straight away. So we're going to label our hypotenuse. Hypot. There's our hypotenuse. The next thing that we'll ask to do, or that we need to do, is identify where is our reference angle. And we can see down here, there's our reference angle, and it's denoted by that Greek letter theta. All right, so there is our reference angle. So now the other two sides, the opposite and the adjacent side, they're all based on where that angle lies. So the opposite side, it's the side on the other side of the triangle, so all the way over here is our opposite side. 
and that last remaining side, it must be our adjacent side. And we can see the adjacent side, it's the side that is next to the reference angle and next to the right angle, right? So adjacent means next to, so it's next to the right angle and the reference angle. All right, making sure you copy these examples down as well into your workbook. Example B here, we've got another triangle. Um, so we need to identify our right angle, which is down here. So over here must be our hypotenuse. Hypotenuse, All right? After we've labeled our hypotenuse, identify our reference angle, and our reference angle here is X degrees. The other side of the triangle is our opposite side. And the last remaining side is our adjacent side. Now adjacent side is next to the reference angle and next to the right angle. All right, hopefully this is, this is okay. Uh, remember, pause the video, go back and rewatch it. If, if things have moved a bit too fast and you're not sure if you missed anything or want some extra clarification. Um, example C, all those four steps we're following again. Right angle, other side is our hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. Our reference angle is 27 degrees, right? The opposite side to the triangle of our reference angle is our opposite side. And the last remaining side is the adjacent side. And the adjacent side is next to the reference angle and next to the right angle. Right. Um, example two here, and this is our last example, so making sure we get this one copied down as well. And example two says, label the sides of the triangle using angle A as the reference angle. All right, so using angle a as our reference angle. All right, so I'm going to highlight that in there straight away now. There's my reference angle. All right, this side over here is my hypotenuse. It's the side opposite the right angle. Opposite my reference angle is the opposite side. And that last remaining side, it's the adjacent side. Remember, the adjacent is next to our reference angle and next to our right angle. All right, so again, um, just quickly summarizing, these four steps are the heavy lifting of trigonometry. If we can label our triangles correctly, identify the information correctly, this is the big start to understanding trigonometry. So take your time, make sure you understand all these processes. The questions I'd like you to complete for this lesson, you go to the Cambridge textbook, and we're going to go to exercise 4e, and you're going to complete questions 2, question 3, and question 9, do all parts of those questions. Once you finish that, follow that link to Kahoot, and there's the game pin there, and answer some questions there, similar questions again in the Kahoot. And finally, remembering to submit your work, so you make sure that you mark all your work from the solutions. Um, if you've made a mistake, go back to your working, fix those errors, take a photo, submit that to Canvas, or by Friday by 3 p.m. All right, good luck with that, Year 9, and I'll catch you next time.